There's a lot of things I can sit back and watch continue to happen. There's a lot of things. But one thing that this black man ain't gonna keep sit back and watch happen is watching our young brothers dying out here in these streets. I've had enough. I have had enough. We can point the fingers. We can keep saying that the young boys is crazy. We can keep saying that the young boys is wetted up, dipped up, drunk, high, whatever the case may be. But I'm telling you right now that these young boys ain't doing nothing that they ain't learned from the old heads like myself. I blame me. I blame me. And I'm taking the blame. I'm going to step up and step to the plate and let you know we got to teach our young brothers how to live. We have to. They dying at astronomical rates. It's only 75,000 people in Wilmington, Delaware. 75,000 people. And the young brothers out here dying haphazard. Myself, I spent a long, long time in the streets and I spent a long, good time in the penitentiary. Wasn't nothing good about it, but I spent a good time there. And while I was there, I had some good brothers, very good brothers, who took the time to guide me, to help me to understand that the way that I might feel in a particular situation, I ain't going to always feel that way. I'm not going to always want to take my brother's life. I'm going to understand one day the value of my own life as a black man, and I'm going to also understand the value of my brother's life. We ain't got no more black babies for the penitentiary. We ain't got no more black babies for the graveyard. We ain't got no more black babies to be losing their lives out here in the streets, gunned down. It's time for us to step up. And I, for one, am not satisfied. I ain't good with the situation. I ain't happy. I'm not happy. I'm displeased. I'm disillusioned. I'm upset. I'm aggravated. I'm irritated. And somebody told me, when you get uncomfortable, it's time to make a change. I got some of my son right here and my wife over there, we passing out pamphlets. Five to live by. Five small principles to live by. Teach these young brothers that once you take a man's life, once that man is gone, he's in the grave, you can't take back that act. I am not innocent. I blame myself. I blame myself for pointing our young brothers in the wrong direction. I blame myself for showing young brothers how to sell drugs. I blame myself for putting poison in their head. And I take it upon myself to step up and step out here and tell you that we ain't got no more black babies for the penitentiary. Where are the black men at? Where are the men? Where are the men? When these young brothers out here gunning themselves down in the streets, where are the men? Are we gonna keep pointing fingers? Are we going to keep blaming? Are we going to keep sitting back and letting our rip women raise our children without fathers? Are we going to stop allowing our nephews to run out here and run them up? Or are we going to step up and come out to the plate and go out here and raise our children? Five to live by. Let these young brothers know, man, that once you take a man's life, you ain't going to always feel that way. Let them know that everything don't call for a gun. Let them know that it's all right to have a position of peace with pride. Let them know that you ain't got to back yourself down into no situation where, with word or with deed where you can't move out of it and say, you know what, brother? I was wrong. And let them know that once the peace is broken, it don't mean that you got to go and grab your gun. We ain't got no more black babies for the penitentiary. Day in and day out, we sit back and we allow this stuff to happen. And I say we allow it to happen because nothing can happen in this world, nothing can happen in our community without us being either complicit, willingly, or unwilling. It's time for us to step up to the plate. We ain't got no more black babies for the penitentiary.